Hi, welcome to this Excel tutorial video covering page layout and printing options. This video is recorded in February 2021 using Excel 365. So on screen I've got some fictitious data that I'm going to use as an example um, to demonstrate the options that we've got available to us so that when we come to print our data we haven't got rows or columns on, on separate sheets. We've got everything all nice and together. We're going to look at it putting uh, headers, um, page numbers, that sort of thing, so that when we print this and maybe provide it to somebody, it's in a, a readable and sensible format. So before, well, at the top here we've got a tab that's called Page Layout, and we're going to be covering most of the options in this page setup area. Um, we've got some common options here, so if I click on the drop down of orientation, we've got an op a nice quick way of changing it from portrait to landscape so if your data is long rather than, sorry wide rather than long you can change it to print landscape as opposed to portrait um, we also have this little button here that when you press it opens up a new window and there's options in there to to make further um, changes to settings i'm just going to cancel that before we make any changes let us look at how how it would uh, if you just printed it now, let's look at how it would look. So to do that, we need to look at print preview. And to get to print preview, we can click on here. And there's a print preview button. Or we can go to file and print. And this shows as a print preview. And we can see that we've got here, um, what's that, the first seven columns are going to print. We're missing... A column here if we go along oh so not all of the rows are going to fit if we go along uh, there's oh there's our remaining two columns and if we go along there's another page which is the remaining two columns of the rows that haven't fit so it's all right now a bit of a mess within this screen we do have options to set things up so we've got the orientation here we've got scaling there's a few bits on here so like in Excel um, there's more than one way to do the same job. However, I want to go back to our page layout area and make our changes here. So when you've gone to print preview, what uh, what Excel does, now that it knows kind of the setup at the minute of, of printing, and the fact that you want to print because you've done your preview, it adds these little double dots, this little dashed line here. See that dashed line? And the dashed line here is the edge of the page in the current print setup. So we can see there that it got to um, column F and then G and H are on the next page. You can see that, you can see the dotted line between them. And if we go further down, there's a dotted line here to show the end of the page and our six rows that went onto the next page. Now that we know they're there, we could alter our column widths to force um, the columns to sit within this broken line. That's one of the options. However, there's other ways that we can fix this. So one thing we can change the margins. Right now, by default, it goes to normal. We can change it to narrow. And you'll see now, because we've got narrow margins, our little dashed line has moved because we've got more space on the page. So the outstanding column can now fit. The paid column won't. So now, really, if we did reduce these with spy a little bit we'd probably fit this on however if you go at the bottom it hasn't helped with our rows um we can also if we come to here we can also say fit um the dash line is gone now because excel will fit everything to the page so if this was a really big uh spreadsheet if you chose fit to page and did a print preview um, it will it will fit everything on so if it's very wide it will look very very tiny but it, but it will fit everything so you see now we've got one page um, because Excel has um, scaled it to fit on a single page in the orientation that we've got set up which is portrait let us go back and I want to change that back Um, one of the other options is, and I'm going to select this option actually, if we've got to file and print, 
Um, one of the scaling options here is to fit um, all the columns or all the rows. So I'm going to say let's fit all of the columns so that the width is always fitting. Uh, all the columns will fit regardless of rows. So if we go down here, then we've got some rows that don't fit, but the columns do. Now, it might be that you only want this top set of data to print. So if I highlight that, we can now click on in here. We can select this as being the print area. If I do that and I do a print preview, it's only going to print that. Regardless of what else is there, it's only going to print that. So that's quite handy. I'm going to clear that. Maybe we want to print that on one page and then um, this on another page and that section on the third page. We can do that by adding breaks. So imagine this line 21 is going to be the start of our second page. We want everything from 21 downward to be on a new page. So we can insert a break. Um, and then from 39 downward is going to be on a new page again. So we can insert the break. And then if we do a print preview, we should see there's page one, there's page two, and there's page three. Now, page two and page three don't have the headers that page one have, so let's fix that. So if we go back into here, we go to sheet, we've got an option here of um, repeat rows at the top. So if we click on that arrow there, um, we now need to select the rows that we want repeated on the top of every page, which is rows one and two. And if I click back on that and click OK, that's now set up. So let's go back here and do a print preview. And we'll see there's page one. If we go to page two, there's page two with the headers. And if we go to page three, page three has the headers as well. Now, if we go back, one more thing we're going to do here. We can add headers and footers. So if we say we want a custom footer, um, we, these buttons here, if you hover over them, it tells you what uh, what each of these buttons is. So um, here we've got insert page number, meaning it will put page one or page two or whatever. So we can put um, page one at the bottom left, click OK. And if we do a print preview, we should now see at the bottom left, page one, page two, and page three. Um, and the good thing about this, finally um in the headers and footers is you can you can type you can say page and then add page of and then add page and it will you know you can you can you can put your own text to make it a little bit more descriptive that's the end of this video i hope you found it helpful